I just thought about something. At the end of that last video, I had uh, accidentally hit play on the thing. Now listen to what I said. To show two lesbians walking through the park, that's fine. To show two women holding hands, that's fine. To even show two men walking through the park holding hands, that's fine. I get the picture. I don't need to see these two women or two men or two of the same sex kissing at all, period, on YouTube. YouTube is not for porn, not even soft porn, not even a still picture of a nude person. This is not made for that. If my video, which was clearly in violation, I believe, after watching it again, knowing the mistake I made, if my video was pulled, then something that is blatantly sexual as this, two people being intimate, should be considered as porn. You called my video porn when the girl was dancing and her panties fell off. But don't you think two people kissing in the grips of passion is more, porno more, more pornographic than someone's underwear popping off? I don't think it's fair. And I'm going to start flagging Showtime. And all of these other major companies, all these videos that have been up here that have 15,000 and 400 million hits and all that stuff, and they're depicting sexual acts, they should be flagged. If a woman's panties pop off and I get shut down, women kissing for six minutes should be shut down. Men kissing for six minutes should be shut down. Rectal examinations on YouTube should be shut down. Breast uh, examination should be shut down. Two young teens, sexy teens kissing should be shut down. some man's behind. I show none of that. But there are places on YouTube that you can find just the same thing I'm talking about. You type in interracial kissing. You type in kissing. And you get porn on YouTube. But please, I said, type in the word kissing. Interracial kissing. And you see it. Don't censor me without warning. But I was wrong. And you know, I, I didn't catch it. And it was there for what I put it up on the seventh, and I erased it on the eighth. But this video I'm replying to right here, it's been up. 
for a long time. That's why it's got like five million hits. Women kissing. I find that offensive. I don't want my daughter to see this and all the other long line of videos this is lined up to that are in the same category. Showtime needs to be ashamed of itself because they could have did their promo with more class. But see, they can do this. I can't. So, this is... There's a great unfairness out there. And I'm telling every person out there that watches my videos, you type in something. You see some people kissing and making out? Flag it. You see the, the, the Paul Serene. That guy that Paul Serene got, he used to send interracial gay videos. This song, the one we were rapping, that clicked on, it's actually supposed to be a different song. It's in here somewhere. So here's a song that I did just recently. But getting back to that video there, it's like, during this period of time, I was going through some animated shit where people would block my videos, I would put a whole bunch of videos out that I would actually edit. I would literally edit videos constantly. Uh, you can see in the early days, we actually spent time on videos instead of me sitting here pissed off all the time, mad, talking about the world, which will end soon. Me talking about it will end soon. So, um, I don't know, I'm looking pretty healthy today. I feel good. I feel real good today. Today is a good day. Watch this. Oh, wait a minute. The long version. Now let's find one of these videos that's not so divisive from the past. And we'll see if we can wash them up. Watch this.
I guess we're gonna have to talk about Ram Bro. Yeah. Ram Bro. Killer cop, killer. Cop, killer cop. Now, what drives a person to go through all this?
trauma mode. They go into destructive mode. They go into if you destroyed me, I will destroy you mode. And some people you just can't screw over. And in the bottom, and in the back, and in the front, there's fear. What did I do? Why did I lie? Why are all others gang up against one person telling the truth? Then the mind says he read the statement or whatever the guy did. I don't want to read that way. But I'm pretty sure he told the truth. You know, go through all this extreme, crazy stuff. If you know who you're guilty. kill you in order to stop you from telling your story. You will spend the rest of your life in prison for those two murders of those regular people and you may just get the death penalty for killing that police officer. That's something you signed up for around, bro. But I feel you. Only if I would have had enough courage to go postal on my own job. Go postal for what? Because somebody called me a name that I won't accept. Go postal for what? Go postal for what? Now, this brings me to this next song, and it makes me think. What was I thinking? Let it say. And who in the fuck put this shit on my fucking video? The annotation. Who did that? I didn't do that. That shit's off the hook. Because they cost me a job when I spent six years trying to get a permanent job. So I can't take care of my family. Go postal for what? Because when I was pulled over, my former boss, his wife was the DA. Postal for what? You can put this shit on there so you can't see my face. Father, the video's tight. Now I'm out there, brother. Why would I go for it? I wouldn't. I would get a lawyer and sue the entire county. There's one thing about life that I always have made the trail. And if the right people look at it, they can tell when it's not right.
I guess we're going to have to talk about Ram Bro. Yeah, Ram Bro. Killer cop, killer. Cop, killer cop. That was tight. That was one of the best videos back in the day. Oh. Killer cop, killer. Cop, killer cop. Now, what drives a person to go through all this? Hmm. This is pretty interesting. I guess we're going to have to talk about Ram Bro. Yeah. Ram Bro. Killer cop. Killer cop. He got away with it. Set out 
can't move. Well, I feel sad, sad for you, Rambo. I kind of feel sad for you. Because of you. You'll never get a fair trial. But what was taking it this far, and I'm pretty sure when it comes down to it, you'll say, yeah, I did it. Shut you up. They could have just transferred you somewhere else. Could have locked it down like that. Could have done a whole bunch of different things. Just could have tried to ruin you. That just goes to show you the politics behind the good old boy system. And that won't change. And it'll never change. But the problem with the good old boy system is. It no longer exists. Just shut the pensions down. Because they don't care anymore. The kids are all grown up and raised and in some other field. Grandpa's no longer a cop anymore. So why should we give these monkeys, these baboons, these Mexicans, these dirty poor white trash bastards a pension? Why should we give these punks a pension? The old people are gone, man. These new people, they're cutting them out. Those honest cops, well, honest cops, well, it's not the day for the honest cop yet. The year of the honest cop is like 15, 20 years away. When a person does their job for the people. You know, people are not like, oh, no, it's a cop, let's run. It's the gang with the real gun. Bad idea. Cause now you know police have bad day too. The round bro. <coughs> Ex cop cop killer. <coughs> Get to the government. Turn yourself in so they can hear your whole story. You will pay for your crimes, round bro. I feel bad that you had to do that. You shouldn't have done that. But it is what it is. Find some safe place to turn yourself in. And tell them the real AIX is the reason you turned yourself in. Tell them I am the reason you turned yourself in. Because this is the common sense thing to do. These idiots out there chasing around in the snow looking for you will shoot at you first and then ask questions later. Let me tell you, how in the hell do you look like a 71-year-old woman driving a truck, throwing newspapers out the truck? They shot first and ask questions later. If they can, they will charge you for that shooting too. Because of you, this older woman and her granddaughter her daughter got shot up because of you because of the truck you was driving in these two innocent people got shot up by a group of people that you used to work for whose sheer fear allowed them to open fire without notification on an innocent group of people turn yourself in before a lot of them old black people get shot up because they look like you. A buddy of mine won't even go outside because you and him look alike. He is 50 years old and you are 33. And he's scared to death.
Christopher Jordan Dorner, a former LAPD police officer and ex-United States Naval Reserve Lieutenant. He's accused of killing four people and wounding four others. He led federal, state, and local police on California's largest manhunt on record. On February 12, 2013, he was burned to death by the police in Big Bear Lake, California. Before his murder spree, he left a manifesto for all to read, explaining why he did what he did. Apologies in advance for any word mispronouncements. I know it's going to happen. Names are hard to do. Cities and some words I may not know. So again, apologies. And just a warning, this audio does contain graphic language and I haven't censored anything from the manifesto well, I guess that's me trying out this new idea again. I just got to figure out which way I'm going to format it. Other than that, this was a pretty sad story. Oh, well.